All right, heading out to Miss Betty's to do some flying this morning. It's a little bit cold, but uh, that's okay. Well, good morning, good morning. So we're going flying this morning. It's gonna be cold, but uh, we gotta get, get some air time before the snow comes. Just really enjoy as much as we can before the, the weather changes to be uh, just too doggone cold and too snowy. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. Gonna practice some uh, touch and goes today and uh, hopefully some um, up high flying as well. All right, see you on the field. All right, all right. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is about 8.30 a.m. And uh, you can see the, uh, the windsock up there. That's what we'll be working with this morning, which looks good. So uh, this is the field we fly at a lot. Pan around so you can kind of see what it looks like. It's a beautiful place to fly. It's kind of tricky because we have these uh three sides of the hill come up and then the longest flat is there behind me so as you can see this goes down that's a downhill that's farther downhill over that is a ridge and it's also downhill and that flattens out a little bit but then goes down so this is our longest flat and you can see it's all surrounded by trees so we get rotor but uh we're careful of it sun hits that side of the the hill heats it up and that air starts to rise meanwhile there's another hill right there that gets less of it so it's rising at different uh speed so we get some swirly air there it's always a spot to be aware of and then of course everywhere around here you can see there's trees so if the wind's blowing fast enough we get rotor a little bit tricky but over the weeks and months we've been getting it dialed in so we kind of know what to expect we're going to be going up in about 10 minutes i guess Ho, 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 and away we go. All right, we're already laid out. Winds are coming from the west. This is a direction where I haven't launched in this direction yet, but we'll see. All right, let's get up in the air. Leg, leg, chest, chin, D shackles, carabiners looking good. Over under with the throttle. Clear prop. <laughs> It's a little bit bumpy. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's a little bumpy. Bumpy up here.
throttle. It's pretty lifty. Ho ho! Kill it. I came down because it's kind of bumpy up there and unpredictable. I don't really, didn't really care for it. Wanted to fly low. I was happy with the way I got that flight off though. It was, uh, had to turn it by kiting it. That was good. Something I've been wanting to do for a while is kite the wing while I'm launching it. Something I haven't done in a while. Yeah, it was kind of bumpy up there. Got a good takeoff. Took off into the west, which is something I haven't done before. I had to adjust my wing by kiting it. Ended up launching about in that direction. That's the first time I did that in a while. Felt good to kite to uh, reposition my angle. Anyway, got up and at about 200 feet, it's, it starts to get bumpy. It stays bumpy till about three to 400 feet. And being that the winds are coming from the west, you have to fight with the, the trees right there. So you get rotor and thermal lift, which is not good. So uh, anyway, just decided to come in and land, and it went okay. Uh, if it smooths out a little bit, I might give it an another shot. I mean, overcast is coming in, so that'll help smooth it out. The wind direction is still in about the same as it was when I took off. So uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Sharky out.